That was close, huh? Oh my god. There he is. Right there. He's coming. Hey, look. Hey, hey buddy. <laughs> A lot of them. We're spending what we don't yet realize will be one of our last mornings on anchor here in the Sea of Cortez, Mexico. It's a hot one, similar to many of our mornings this season, but it's beautiful and our officially southernmost spot of the season, Isla Partida, has finally delivered the super clear water we've been after since our summer cruising season began over six weeks ago now. Mike was saying from Alegria that a finback whale came right into Anchorage. That's freaking That'd be crazy. Awesome. Never for us, we never see whales. Yeah, Bill was just actually in the head um, and looking out the window and saw a dolphin breach. So he's like, there's dolphins outside. It scared me so much. <laughs> I didn't get my scream on film, but a dolphin just... There he goes. He was under for a long time. Sweet little bird that just landed on our boat. Hi. We're about 233 amps down right now. I think the max I saw this morning was like 270. Oh wow. So we went under half, doesn't matter. Oh yeah, because we've been running the air conditioning yeah. at night. And, <laughs> we got, how many hours do we have air conditioning on yesterday for? Five or six? Yeah, a lot. More and by the time we get to like, I'm gonna say, noon or sometimes early afternoon we're um we're full so it's just very sunny in our solars yeah <laughs> i'm gonna miss sitting out for coffee in the morning <laughs> we go back to vinyasco yeah no i'm not it'll be nice for you come back will be cooler that'll be a nice change yeah no need for air conditioning and <laughs> it's been hot Today, we're gonna do that dive, at least one dive, maybe two. Um, the water here is super clear um, and it's very still, so it's perfect conditions for diving. Um, it has gotten pretty hot again. Um, I think there's like another heat wave coming through. So yeah, it'll. that's another reason to get in the water. Where are you going spearing? Yeah, we're gonna go check out the scene. Okay. See what we see. Nice. Where do you think it's going? Do you go to the rock or? Uh, just to this point over here is usually where we've done before. Um, okay. But it's all pretty good, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the rock has the sea lion colony, so. Well, the big moment is here. This is, is our gorgeous dive spot. <laughs> Clearest water of the year. Might yeah, be true. by far. <laughs> it's be, hopefully. Um, the theory came up there like, yeah, this is shit. There's and there's there. a fishing boat that's been out here. And apparently, they caught like a lot of groupers. So, pretty excited. <laughs>
uh, Grouper? No, I mean, like, uh, Grouper. Grouper? No, well, the other two are back in the boat. This is the one I just said. This is the small flash movie. Oh, very nice. And that's the, uh, boat movie. So Mike caught the fish and we made the rice this time. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little potluck thing going on again. Yeah. Bill had some uh, trouble with his spear gun. Yeah, it's a new gun. I'm trying to learn it. And we're both really tired today. Uh, the heat's been taking it out of us. I need this. Thank you for making the rice game. What do you see? You can like put on. It looks like really dim. at the weather again and we just don't we don't like this forecast the hurricane hillary is coming we're going to be looking at some of the winds that are expected some of the different watches that are in place even though we didn't want to leave this early things don't look good for after the storm clears out and then there's another storm it's not a named storm but it's like on the way up too which could or could not be a problem so we just went over to alegria and said goodbye to everybody um very emotional right now. It's just so uh, wonderful having dinner with your friends every night. Um, we were just talking about that on the boat, like everyone just making one dish in this heat has just been felt so much more manageable. Um, and then just looking forward to that every night uh, has just been great. And it's just been so short that we actually got to cruise with Alegria. Um, even with Crystal and Craig, it just really flew by. Anyway. I gotta get ready to go. What do we have to do to go? Not much. Yeah. Strap her down. I mean, the good thing is we might get the sail. This is such a pretty anchorage, too. Well, it's a little bit later, and we are motor sailing. Got the main up. We have the generator on, we are running AC because it is 97 degrees and 80% humidity. Um, and we have some things to do before we lose service, uh, work-wise. Um, also, we have a lot of gas that will go bad. We can't we can't store gasoline, like these are a little more stable, so. Might as well. Might will burn it. it if you got them, smoke them. So bad. <laughs> but the more we look at the weather, the more we're so glad we made this decision. It looks like, so this time of year, it's supposed to be southerlies, meaning that the wind is coming from the south, blowing north, which is the direction we need to go to go back to Piasco. But there's a lot of current in the Sea of Cortez. It's very strong. And as you get closer to the top of the Sea of Cortez, it really narrows. Um, this is one of the places that we've sailed that it gets very choppy. Um, it's just not a great place to sail with big wind. Um, 
you don't get those long, those big rolling waves. Um, there's so much current, there's so much wind activity in between islands. Um, there's a lot of phenomenon happening in the Sea of Cortez. There's always a sea state here. Like it's blowing five knots and we have not big waves, but there's a little bit of chop and that's because of the current. I can see wave uh, caps out in the distance and it's, it's a little choppy considering we're literally motoring in very little wind. This is the Sea of Cortez current. Our bow is just like going there's been no nothing so like it's as calm as it's gonna be in here just yeah you probably missed that window honestly where that was the case that probably was like the last month basically where we had a better chance of getting that um, ideal forecast so this is the next best thing being able to motor we should be able to sail too the wind is gonna fill in more then in about 20 what is it 26 hours yeah, right now we're going 7-3 because the current's with us, but it's it's just, it's over 24 hours. Somewhere between 26 and 28 hours until we're in Pinasco. Um, so one overnight. Even though we may get stuck motoring all the way back to Pinasco, a Mexican border town at the top of the sea, which, if you recognize the name, is the spot Calico called home for the first half of 2023, We've got little choice, as the latest news has the impending hurricane looking fierce. Very clearly defined eye right there, and Hurricane Hillary is now a category four hurricane, meaning it has sustained winds of 145 miles per hour. decimates my supplies and I always tell him we have to keep stuff for whenever we do passages because sometimes it's hard to cook and he depleted our stores like weeks ago and now we have no snacks left except for this bag of Triscuits that he's found like five times and I've been like no don't open that we might need them and it's finally paid off because here we are hadn't planned to leave. Right now the conditions are good so we could cook, but couldn't have known that, right? So yeah, we just opened the Triscuits. Crackers and cheese, it's a great lunch. And this is why I hoard passage food because you never know when you're gonna need it.
shot. Captain Bill's awake, and now that we're an hour away from Pinasco, I think we can finally admit to ourselves how freaking hot it actually is. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to not stop Aircon. So I'm really excited to come back in October after the boat show though, because the temperature yeah. should be perfect then and we can really enjoy it. And the water will still be warm. Uh, yeah, it was still totally worth it to us. Uh, we, were, we couldn't live in the dock anymore. The highs definitely outweighed the lows and we were able to test everything from our refit, which is really important. Um, so now we have things to address and we're, I like the idea of going out on a high note. Um, Starting, there were starting to be more moments of like, you know, you get out of the water, and if you stay in the water long enough, you have a couple hours until you get hot again, but, you know, we, we have to work and everything too, so we can't actually be in the water like six hours a day. Um, and we were able to run the AC, which kind of saved our life. But even though we're both tired, as soon as we get into Piasco, we have to start storm prep because as the models continue to update, it's looking more and more like this thing is going to go up, even all the way up to LA. So Pinasco's going to get some weather. Um, they often lose power, so we want to go out and get food because, of course, we're coming in on empty, right? Everything's dirty, broken, and yeah, our provisions are down. So. Trap. Yeah, right in the middle though. Not very well marked, it's a soda bottle. Starting to feel a little concerned here. A little tight, the scenery is pretty thick too. Are you going on deck? That stern line's gotta go on first. I guess I might need clearance just to that bow though. To the my bow I'm gonna try to I'm trying to make a wide turn towards that dock. Yep. Spidey sense will come up this morning um, at 7 a.m. just to check the state of our batteries because we were down a lot yesterday uh, and we're pretty sure that the dock had a power surge they've had things like that before when we were here but nothing like this and it basically melted important things um, and we were <clears throat> prepared for this possibility so it's a little bit confusing as to what actually happened what's our uh, strategy here I'm just spinning around circles I don't really know I don't know that's not what <laughs> I wanted to hear <laughs> this is only like a 13 amp plug I guess this is like a spare I have around so I guess I'll wire that in and turn down the inverter to 13 amps so it can't over overheat and then I'm gonna go look for a better something at the hardware store <clears throat> Yeah, that sounds like a plan. But just get the aircon back on. It's 86, which is balmy, but it's not gonna stay that way for long. Can you? I dropped like the shore power plug inside the hole. I'm gonna get your hand in there. Yeah, sure. Yep. That's easy. Yeah, I can get my hand in there. Thank you. Come again. No problem. Melted residue here. Yeah. <clears throat> This is temporary, this is pretty 
not, not my finest work here, but I don't have the parts of me right now. I can feel it. So I just quickly recorded some voiceovers <laughs> because it was quiet um, with the AC being off and in the meantime Bill got that uh, <laughs> short power. Yeah, it's not my finest work, I'll show you, I'll show you guys. Cord wired we'll and on. we're just, you want to explain what you did? like? <clears throat> so it's only uh, the gauge of the wire that we're running is uh, 16, which I looked up as like 13 amps max. So our MultiPlus has the ability to reduce the amount of input current, so I'm pulling 11, so I'm giving myself like two amps of buffer, uh, so I don't set this, so I don't burn this connection too. I mean, so yesterday we have a 30 amp shore power cord, I had it down to 20 amps, because shore power cords are known to fail, so I had it running at like 60%, which I was surprised we had a problem. Um, but this is even smaller now, so I'm only running at 11 amps. So you can see, now our batteries have to help so, batteries are feeding the air conditioner just popped on, because we're only taking 900 from shore. Yeah. Are you ready for this hurricane, Weasel? Are you? I think she is, but she don't know. <laughs> okay, so we made it in. Um, ran out, dropped the laundry, got some essentials. We're gonna go back out tomorrow uh, morning. You ready, honey? Yeah, I'm coming. Crystal and Craig are over, and we're taking advantage of the extra manpower. We're taking down the head sail now because the wind has dropped to nothing, and by tomorrow, it's gonna yeah, be a different good. situation. deck is cleared. We did not film it because it was too hot. <laughs> but we can sail down. Everything's tied Everything's down. secured. We have our gas. Um, we're just going to clear them with the port captain because we didn't get to do that when we came in. The Mexicans are definitely taking the storm very seriously. Yeah, they're really, they're really responsible. And I think being such a, a different one than historically they are, everybody's really on high alert. Um, we just talked to the marina manager about leaving the suburban here um, because the ocean's right there. So Penasco gets a lot of flooding and storm surge normally. And this storm is going to be bigger if it comes, if the predictions are correct, than storms have been in the past. So whew, we were a little worried about that, but they assured us it was gonna be okay here. Vamos, uh, or fue, a Baja de Los Angeles. Um, where are we? I'm surprised we're getting rain so early, early honestly. 